Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Sam of Next Channel. Today we're building something that people don't really like: uh, high-grade build fighters, the Kirara's Garbera Tetella. So I've been seeing a lot of uh, comments on the internet. It seems like most people doesn't like this kit because it just say, "Ah, oh, it's just another P band. I may just change a bit color and doesn't even add anything." And I don't like the suit anyway. Yeah, I seen a lot of comment before I build this. Before I buy this, I seen a lot of comment on this internet, and and I find out the most hated thing may be my most loved things. Yes. Well, anyway, so I'm just gonna start unboxing. So when we open it, we'll see the guns, the tail booster parts, the uh, the main bodies. Yes, the main, the main body part. Next, we got some beam savers, the potty caps, torso, feet, shoulder armors. And we got some inner parts as well. Next, we have some light pink, like pink, uh, pink color looking. Um, it's kind of like a leg. I think this is all the legs part, yes. And next, we'll have the main tail booster, the stickers, the head, and other armor. And surprisingly, this time, the build fighters didn't give me any new instruction book. They just give me a old one, the old one plus like those you know those high grade Universal Century thing. Just add you an additional paper. It just kind of surprised me because build fighters all usually give me surprises on their instruction book, but this time they don't have any, which is makes which makes which makes me kind of surprised this time. Well, <clears throat> quit talking. I'm just gonna start building and I will see you at the review to check out is it as bad as the internet says. So I'm gonna see you at the review.
Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the review of the Kirara's Gabriel Tetora, and this is the finishing of the whole model. So, you know, you might ask, uh, it looks exactly the same like Gabriel Tetora. Well, of course, it's just it's just Gabriel Tetora with some uh, color changes. Yes, and it changes to like a more female look. Yes, it changes to like a female look. And for me, you know, um, you know, it basically have the same thing just like Gabriel Tatella, but since I haven't reviewed any of uh, the suits, so I'm just going to introduce a bit. So first, um, gotta need to say though, this suit um, is, is, yeah, of course it's girly color, and for me, it doesn't really have, it doesn't have too much uh, movements during uh, the joint is uh, too close together, and it doesn't really and the, you know those shoulder piece kind of makes you uh, have limited your movement so I'm gonna start talking about the movement so first the head uh, it can move slightly it's really tough to move around as you can see you can hear some sound if I shut up for now just listen to the sound it, it kind of makes me feel like it can, it, if I twist it a little high it's gonna break it and next uh, the waist it, the waist uh, it's, uh, there's a there's a piece here, so you couldn't really move 360. You can just move po probably like 40, 50 degrees, and the legs, the legs uh, can go pretty well up. It's, it's actually pretty high up though. The legs can go, and I can be at the front, no problem. Side kick, side kick, no problem as well. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be falling down on anything. Um, also shoulders. So now I'm just talking about shoulders. Shoulders. 360 not really happening well they no it does does a 360 but you just need to push a bit hard to do 360 the arms uh, the arms are uh, movable as well the arms really movable and uh, the, the arms bendable as well um, and the hands is movable as well it's all movable but it's you just but as I said the suit movements is just a little weird for me it, it does look a little weird for me or the suit movement and I'll explain to you later on how is it really weird all right so back to topic so you know um, this suit uh, if you after you've done the panel lining it will look a little better I suppose it will be looking a little better because without any panel lining this suit just looks like a bunch of plastic Oh, I mean, it's plastic model already, but it looks really having that plastic feel. So if you don't do any panel lighting, it doesn't look good. And next, uh, I'm just, just going to skip to the uh, accessory. So you, as you can see, so they did give you free hand options. So if uh, if you if you can see on the mobile suit right now, there's a weapon, uh, there's a gun holding hand, a, um, a normal hand, a normal kind of like a fist hand and a and a open hand for the left hand you can choose to put it on or not and for the stickers they uh, they give you uh, the mono eye stickers uh, the mono eye stickers they give you three of them uh, which you can see there's two left on the sticker sheet that I didn't use and also at the bottom uh, at the bottom here let me show you at the bottom uh, there's a there's a four four stickers here, and those four stickers were uh, like the facial expression, as the description said is a for facial expression, which means you can put on the face of the Gabriel Tatala to um, bring back the anime looking uh, face in, face expression. Yes, and also beside that, this suit this give you a original Gabriel Tatala long. Uh, booster yes a booster but uh, I wouldn't recommend to put it on uh, I'm gonna show you how to put it on anyway so um, first this back piece here as you can see there's a back piece here you just need to pull this out which I just broke it uh, and you just basically putting it back on you need to move the head by the way you need to tilt the head down to put it on so now so now here you go and it does have a weight problem so I personally wouldn't recommend you to put it on 
if you are gonna make it any display or something. I personally wouldn't recommend you to put it on. Alright, excuse me. Next, the last accessory that they give you is a pair of beam sabers. And it's not really anything to introduce for the beam saber, it's just a effect pass stick with a stick with a um beam saber handle and it doesn't really have much to say though. Um well really what I should say is uh alright I'm just gonna start skip to the opinion because I don't think there's anything to introduce anymore. So skip to opinion. I don't recommend to buy it. <laughs> this is the first time I say I don't recommend to buy it. You know, if you're really good like paint job builders, just 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 paint it. Just repaint it yourself because you don't you don't need to you don't need to spend like you know you know those P banner ripoffs on the e internet. You don't have to spend a lot of money to um to just buy another new version. And you can you know if you got a pain, just just do it yourself. You don't have to spend like a spend like sixty fifty just to buy a just to buy a whole different color Gabra Tatella. You can just spray paint yourself. So I definitely really not recommending buying this. I would rather you just buy a regular version and you spray paint it yourself. I'd rather you do that. And I'm serious. And also I need to complain one thing. This suit have limited movement and it also gives me a feel of if I just move the joint it it won't it it, it feels weird. Like it looks weird when I try to move the joints. And that's just my personal opinion. And this is the end of the review. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more reviews. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.